My name is Charlotte Jarrett. I'm from the Amadzara tribe in Alice Springs. And my dreaming is white dingo, emu, kangaroo, and arangi, which is the morning star. Um, I started doing dot paintings at a very young age. I started learning with my nana, and she loved to teach and I loved to learn, so that's how I started painting. She used to tell me stories about it, about what she was painting, and then she told me a story about the stars one day and I just got obsessed with the sky ever since. <laughs> I didn't have someone show me how to paint the sky. I hadn't seen it before, my nana never painted it, that story. I seen my mum paint it once, and then that's where I got the idea from and just carried it on from there. And now I'm the only one who paints it. There is a story for the morning star, but I can't tell it. Um, it's sacred to our people and I'm not at the level where I can pass that on. Um, it takes me a long time to do an art piece because I have a lot of medical problems and that affect my joints and it's hard because I sit on the floor and paint all day. So it, it would usually take me four months at the least, and then four months plus, probably to a year. I think I think too much and don't say enough, so everything just gets stuck in my head and when I wanna shut my brain up, I just start painting. From a design's point of view, I don't really have a picture in my mind when I start. But I do always start around a circle, like I always work around a circle. And then the rest just comes out from that. I built up a good name for myself in Alice Springs and people started becoming really interested in my work and everything. And the press it just became too much, everyone wanted one. And I was trying to say it takes me a long time, it's really painful to sit there on the ground. and. Yeah, people just kept wanting more. So I stopped painting for a long time because I wasn't painting for other people. I was only painting for myself, really. And so it just became work. Art didn't, it didn't really click with me until I was older because I'd done, I was doing dot paintings, but my cousins wouldn't let me help them because they said I was really messy. And so, but my Nana always encouraged me to keep going and help out on her paintings. And so I did keep going and then I started to develop my own style. And I was like, well, if people don't like my dots, I'll start working with lines. My father is from the Gambangri tribe out at Barrowville Way. And then like he used a lot of lines in his artwork. So I started mixing dot painting with lines and that's where I created my own style. It wasn't a problem for me because my nana said I was good, so I believed her. Yeah, my nana, she was the main one to encourage me to do art. And if the rest of my family kept on, if she wasn't there to say, yeah, you're doing good, <laughs> I wouldn't have kept going. <laughs>